Now let's add some controls for the eyes. So going down under where we have the spine controls, let's create a little bit of space. And as usual, we'll do a delete joints node. And we'll bring that out. Set the display on that. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to select, well, there's three joints there to select. And we want to get, uh, let's bring this rig tree over. Let's get the upper and lower lid and accept. And we'll deal with the eye the eyeball uh, a different way. So this will uh, create controls for that. We're going to add in a rig tree. And that rig tree will specifically, we can select, go to the handle tool, select those two. So we'll have something for the upper and the lower lid. And then we'll do a skeleton blend to bring that back in to the overall hierarchy. And again, we want that to be uh, world space with a weight of one. So, skeleton blend eyes and a weight of one and world space. Now, so that um, takes care of that at one level. What we also want to do is give us some controls over those. So we're going to go and we're going to put attach capture joint capture attach joint geo, uh, which will we can bring that same those same controls that we had before to the middle icon there. And if we want to just press the Alt key to add a dot and move that off to the side. So this will allow us to use the same controls we used for other joints uh, here for this one as well. And there we go. So that can go up, around, and over, and under to get back to the attached joint. Let's set the display on that. So we're going to select those two joints, and we're going to go Assign, press G to Assign, and we're going to middle click down to get the circle. Now we're going to tweak the joints. And what we're going to do is we're going to, let's do, press G, we get the upper lid. And we're going to scale that down. And we're going to make that, let's say, point 0.3, no, point 0.5, point 0.5, point 0.5. And we're going to translate it down just so it's easier to find it in relation to the other one. So we're going to move that down, or actually move that up. Yes, up for the upper lid. Uh, next, we're going to select the lower lid, and we're going to change it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And we're going to go in the opposite direction, 0 0.02, which in fact, actually lowers it down. So just from a visual point of view, it'll be easier to find uh, these because even though they lie on top of each other, the, the controls do not. So it'd be easier to find them. And then you can select it, and that will allow us to rotate the eyelids. Great. And the lower one also works well there as well. So we've got handles for it, and we've got parameters on the rig pose ready to go. Now, in this case here, we're going to lock everything, just like we've done before, except for rotate Y. And we're going to do the same for the lower lid. Lock everything, and then unlock rotate Y. And again, the benefit of this is that when we select that uh, we'll only get one handle, the handle we need. So now we're going to take these parameters and we're going to promote these to the head. So we've got the upper lid, so we can just capitalize that. Space, eyelid, and rotate. Oh, rotate. And then we'll do the same with the lower lid bring that over into the same folder, 
and we'll call that the lower eyelid rotate. And as in with all the other parameters we promoted, this will make them available in the animation rig, uh, even if it's locked, be available to the animator. We'll put a little separator in there, and that's looking pretty good. So let's press accept for that on, on that now. Now if we jump to the, uh, the test rig, we'll see that yes, we have those available. They're aligned in the space we need them to. And oh, no, oh, we didn't get the right rotate. We picked the wrong one. Uh, oh, sometimes these things happen. So it turns out the way that the eyes are oriented, uh, we actually want to do it slightly differently. So we want to go back to here. So we need to first uh, delete channels to get rid of the references that we already have. Then we're going to unlock and we're going to go there, and it looks like it's the rotation's actually an X. So that was that was we made a mistake there, or I made a mistake there. So let's lock the whole thing, uh, lock everything, and then we'll unlock the X axis, and then we'll delete channels, or uh, unlock, delete channels, uh, lock everything, and then unlock X again. And now these will be the parameters that we're going to want to promote. So we sort of have to do those steps again. Um, you know, these are the things sometimes you do, and they don't uh, they don't uh, happen the way you sort of expected there. And we select there. Yeah, we've only got the one rotation handle, and it's going in the right direction now. Perfect. We should have tested that a little bit before we sent that over. So now we uh, take these two, which were wrong because they were uh, coming from the wrong direction, and now we will bring the upper and the lower eyelid from here. And double click. There we go. And we'll rename those again. So upper eyelid rotate and lower eyelid rotate. This is now you see why we created that test rig. So while we're working, we can quickly go and test because if something goes wrong, we find out immediately, we can fix it, and then you know it, we don't have to wait until an animator discovers the problem down the line. We're actually discovering that problem as we're building the rig. So that's sort of the why the good practice of having that. And now we click on it, and yes, we go in the right direction now, and it's rotating around. So perfect. So we did the two eyelids. The next thing we need to do is the eyeball. How are we going to rotate the eyeball? Now we could rotate it with a handle like this, but instead what we'd like to do is do a look at. So, and we originally built a joint specifically as a look at point for the character. So what we're going to do is take advantage of that. Let's jump back into two, where we have that. And after the skeleton blend, let's bring that down. Let's bring these down. We're going to continue layering more control into this. We're going to right click and we're going to bring in a delete joints again. And this time, uh, we're going to specifically pick the eyeball joint. So let's bring the eye rig over. We click here, we can actually click the eyeball there. That looks like what we want, except. So once we've got that, we can delete non-selected. And now we've only got one joint in here. So this is delete joints eyeball. Now once we have that, what we want to do is we want to control that a little bit. So we're going to also, oh, we should have brought in also the eye target. So in this case here, we're going to have two joints available, and we're going to work between these two. We're now going to put down a node called, uh, well, the rig pose no node, because we may want to uh, control some of this. Now, in general, what we're going to do with the rig pose is pose the target. So the eye target is what we pose here. We're not going to touch the eyeball. So we're going to take that, 
and we're going to select the target. Do not select the eyeball. We don't need that. It's going to be manipulated another way. Um, some of these are locked. Let's unlock that. Let's lock, rotate, and scale, and we only have translate. Perfect. And we're going to do a rig attribute bop. Now this is a way of us creating a relationship between the different joints uh, that in this case we're going to use a target uh, a target as the main connector here. So if we go into here and we what we want to do is let's put in a skeleton blend. So this will feed in the eye the eyeball. And we're going to take the rig attribute fop and put that into the second input. Uh, oh wait, let's get the weight and the world space. Put the that into the second input, and there we go. Uh, now let's um, once we've got that, set the display on the bone to form, and double click to go into the rig attribute fop. Now you'll notice with the dots up here, we can click on the two joints, and we get three options here. So for this one, we're going to pick the second one and bring that down. And when we click to the target, we're going to click and we're going to pick the top one and drag that down. And there's a slight difference between those and that will affect what the result is that we get. And then we're going to bring the eyeball and we're going to bring that here. So that creates more of a... The first two are get position and the, the last one is a set position. So what we can do is we can do a look at, a kin effects look at, and we can take the X form from here, the X form from here, and then feed that into the eyeball there. Now it flips a little bit, so we need to look at, we need to say we want to do Z uh, up axis negative X, and now it seems to be working. But, you know, we see it's now pointed in the right direction, but let's go up above. Let's go to this rig pose, and now we can move the eyeball or target, the target point around, and it seems to be definitely doing uh, what we expected. So let's go revert to defaults, and we've got that set up. So again, uh, we've been able to create the relationship that we need for the rig, and now it's just a matter of um, setting up the right controls. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, in here, um, we're going to put more control geometry uh, and we're going to pull again from the node way way up here probably could have put that off to the side but anyway for now this will do the job oh wait no down to here second input set display and if we press G then we assign shape G middle click uh, down to get a box. So we'll use the same control that we use for the knees um, because it's just a transform only little widget. And there we go. We got that set up. We set our display there and we can move that around. So just like before, uh, anytime we've got something like this to make it animatable, we need it to, to be properly promoted up to the um, top level of the asset. So let's just move some of these things over. Um, there we go. Select all of those. We'll put a network box in here and call this eye controls. So we've got the two little parts that make up the eye lids and the eye target for the eyeball, and they make our eye controls. Once we have those, uh, we need to promote that stuff. So we're again, we're going to go asset, edit properties for the animation rig, and we're going to click on this I, this rig pose here, which we're going to rename uh, eyelids. And so we can take the target and bring that in. We'll put these in the head and we'll call this the eye target position. Now remember that the eye target is also parented the COG, so when the character moves around, the eye target is going to be moving around uh, so the character doesn't suddenly flip, its eyeball doesn't see flip, but it allows us to move it side to side or up and down 
We can also bring in the two uh, eyelids uh, and let's give them a nice uh, range. So negative to positive and accept. And once we have that, let's jump to one. And yes, we have an eye target here. We can test that out and see, yes, that is actually doing its job. And we've been able to set up that kind of rig. So we've got a bunch of different types of things from kinematics to forward kinematics to target, um, you know, look at. And so we've got a lot of, uh, you know, useful tools for animator to work with um, as we wrap this all up.